Hello guys, uh, today I'll show you my opening move as Granada to get the Re Reconquista done as fast as possible. Um, I do have all the DLC, so this strategy might uh, be different for you if you don't have all of them. Uh, also English is not my first language, so I'm sorry in advance if I do some mistake or if I'm not too much comprehensive. Um, so the general strategy resolve mainly around allying France and this is gonna be quite difficult because as you can see on the offer align screen we are at minus 63 right at the start. Uh, also you need to ally Morocco and Tunis and possibly get Ottoman but they don't matter too much. Uh, right at the start also uh, it's a bit luck dependent. There's two things you need to look for. First of all your ruler really uh, needs to not have the minus one diplomatic reputation uh, trait. So as you can see we don't have it so that's good. That's luck on our side. And the second luck you need to look, at, look out for is France need uh, to have rivaled either Aragon or Castile. Uh, in our case they did rival Castile so we're fine. Why is that? It's because if they rival uh, either Aragon or Castile, uh, you get a plus 20 uh, chance with the offer line screen by being threatened by Castile. As you can see right there, it says Granada is threatened by Castile plus 20. Uh, and you can get, get that thing either with Aragon or Castile depending on whether France has rivaled Castile or Aragon. Uh, also, Granada start with 9 light chip. You'll want to sell those light chip at the start and also sell titles uh, and even burn your capital down, I think, a notch uh, to get extra ducats. You need to have a lot of ducats right at the start, around 225 to 250, to send a gift to France whoops, uh, of around 225 to 250 ducats to get plus 25. Uh, relations from the diplomatic send gift option because France is a big nation. Uh, in terms of taxation policy you want the linear taxation to get the plus one diplomatic reputation. You also want to uh, shuffle your uh, diplo advisor until you get a diplomatic reputation advisor so we're gonna sell uh, we're gonna retire this advisor and try our luck to get a Diplo Reputation Advisor next month. And we're gonna start selling our light ship. So uh, right at the start, oh, and I forget the estate, so uh, we'll do that. It doesn't matter too much which one you take, but there's a few important one that I will uh, show you. Uh, so one important one is um, the religious diplomats, which give you plus 25 relation with Sunni nation that will help you get Tunis and Morocco and maybe the Ottomans. Another one is uh, grant scholar residence, grant local residence to scholar, which enables you to uh, gain any scholar trait in the Sunni world without the requirement of allying the nation in question. So we'll get. Uh, aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. Uh, this will help us with the AE down the line. We're gonna obviously sell, sell titles for 96 ducats seize land to be in the positive for your uh, control of land. Rival Clemson and Portugal. Ally Morocco. Right, is, right at the start sell uh, two light ship to Provence for 30 ducats.
and send uh, two of your light ship and four of your transport to uh, Granada because uh, you will want to sell two other light ship to uh, any Italian miner and they need to be in proximity of the Gulf of Amira Cital to uh, be in range for uh, this the, the selling of those light ship. Also, ally Tunis after uh, your diplomat comebacks. Uh, mark all of Lansom land as land of interest. So that means Morocco and Tunis will not have too many land that they want to grab. Uh, you want to fight Clemson right at the start. It's because when you eventually fight Castile or Aragon, you'll want to have France, Morocco and Tunis on your side. But uh, the AI of Tunis is usually pretty dumb and they cannot, uh, well, not that they cannot, but they won't naval invade. And that means they will be stuck because Tlemcen won't grant them uh, military access and they won't be able to march their army across to uh, Morocco land and then in Castile land. So uh, you want to get rid of Tlemcen as much as possible, at least uh, create a bridge in, be uh, in between Tunis and Morocco by uh, getting those three provinces or either giving them to Morocco and Tunis. It doesn't matter much. Uh, I do recommend taking at least one province because by taking one province and even humiliating Clemson, you get two Age of Discovery uh, objectives. You get um, humiliate rival Dun and you get present on two continents by adding line on two continents, so Africa and Europe. And by getting those two duns at the very start, uh, your plunder is gonna accumulate faster, which will enable you to get Justified War, another minus 10% to AE uh, right at the start to help you down the line with the AE in Iberia. Also send uh, your uh, merchant to the Safi node to transfer uh, trade power and send the other one in the Tunis one to transfer. Again sell your light ship to uh, people in Italy. So 33 duck is for again to light ship. Start building a spy network in Clemson. And start improving relations with the French. Also for your merchant down in Safi, um, putting on put him on hostile trading policy to give you a faster spy network construction in Clemson. Call back your spy, uh, your spy. Sell three light ship to Morocco for 70 ducats. Sell two light ship to Tunis for 50 ducats. And as you can see, we're already at 315 ducats, which is really good. And put back your uh, diplomat in Clemson. Oh, you also want to build um, some galleys. So Three on each province. This will um, eventually build up your like navy, your naval strength, uh, because one of the modifier for getting in lines is uh, naval strength and um, also military strength. So we're gonna build up a navy pretty uh, cheaply, ten ducats each. It's uh, way cheaper than light ships.
so the Nip Napolitan succession happened. Doesn't bother us, bother us too much. Castile has allied England and Portugal, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna attack Clemson next month with the help of Tunis and uh, Morocco. Get Dara as uh, your uh, uh, as your claim. You want to get Dara as the province you take in, uh, from Clemson because they have a fort, and uh, you can delete that fort. Because if you give this province Tunis or Morocco, they'll keep the fort, and it will cost them money unnecessarily. So you then want to attack uh, Clemson. And again, remember, you need the province as land of interest. Call in Morocco and Tunis. You can call Belligerent, uh, their ally doesn't really matter that much. You'll separate piece them anyway. Again, mudball your fort. Uh, you'll get this uh, mission done, which is fine. Then start improving relations. Uh, no, sorry. Start cure uh, uh, curry favor with Morocco and Tunis afterward. Transport your fleet across. Uh, your armies across. I'm sorry. I didn't call in Tunis by mistake, but you can call them in, doesn't really matter. Just wait for the surrender of main event uh, because when that will fire, this will be an aggressive war uh, from the England in, from England uh, to France. So France will be the defender in this war, and if we have a hundred relations built up with France, by the time the main surrender happens, we'll be able to enforce peace on England and join the side of France. And being in the, on the same side in the defensive war, uh, improve your chance of uh, offering, an uh, offering an alliance to France and being accepted. Again, building up our navy.
you want to watch out for their army because you don't want to get stack wiped. Pretty good one at that. And we get unlucky with the vents, but it doesn't matter. Siege of the Leaf are done. We don't need to um, have. We can mob all their capital because it's their capital, so there's still a fort there. Now it's only a matter of getting mid job and Jared out of the war. Uh, we can do this easily by sieging down one of their province and then getting uh, our stack on their capital. Building up relations with France slowly up to a hundred. You want to uh, deal with the pretender rebel as fast as you can after uh, they uh, get in your land. So uh, get your fort maintenance on in Malacca to block them. And you want to hire some mercenary company after that in Granada to attack them. Peace out, Mizab. As soon as you sit on their capital and you have one province occupied. Hire that cheap free company for uh, 4 units for only 0.47 ducats a month. This will bring you one over your limit, it's fine. Uh, and you have cured in a favor with Morocco, now start curing favor with uh, Tunis. Again, keep building as much galleys as you can. As soon as you get a uh, full force limit or over your force limit, you want to call back, call back one of your diplomat. And there is a hidden, hidden uh, Easter egg in the, at least two hidden Easter egg in the Granada. Uh, mission tree. First of all here, as you can see, this mission, prepare for war, uh, require, there's some requirements here uh, and one of them is to insult Castile. If you scornfully insult them, it will change the results. If you only insult them normally, it will only give you a 60 tradition general. But if you scornfully insult them, It then changed to a hundred tradition general. So this is a little Easter egg, and it's not the only one in the uh, Granada te uh, mission tree. I'll show you down uh, later on another one. So equip your stack with your general.
Then you can peace out Jared as soon as you sit on their capital. Then you can start improving relation as soon as your relations are maxed out with France, over a hundred, you can start improving relations with uh, the Ottomans. Note that we did scornfully insult Castile, so it did give, uh, give us um, plus 25 relations with France because we scornful, scornfully insult one of their uh, rivals. Now we have enough um, war score to peace out uh, Clemson. Again, you only take one province for yourself, and then you give the rest to uh, Morocco and or Tunis. So remove those two provinces of interest. It will flip them to Morocco, and then give them to Morocco. Then you can give them to Morocco in the peace deal. Take all their money, or at least most of it, humiliate them. And we can even maybe give uh, one province back to their vassal. So it will strengthen their strength for uh, the upcoming war with Castile. Delete the fort in here and bring your force back to Dara so that you'll send them to help uh, against the revolt. Again, continue curing favor. You need at least 10 with Tunis and Morocco for the upcoming war with uh, Castile. And now you, we. The surrender of Mena is a bit late, so uh, this is a bit unfortunate, but. It's fine if it's that much late. It just needs to not be too early, like not within the first uh, like six months. Find your army so that armies so that they arrive on the same day. This will complete you another mission. Now we really need the surrender of Maine to happen. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's usually more earlier than that, so it's a bit sad that it's not happening. It's really unfortunate that it's taking so long. Keep your maintenance on low to uh, at least get a bit of money coming in. Again, some some unfortunate event. Wow, I don't know what's happening, but usually it's uh, way earlier to surrender of Maine. But it, it doesn't matter too much if it's uh, later uh, down in your game. As long as uh, it's not peacefully resolved, so that Maine is not like surrendered peacefully, um, that's the only requirement.
We're gonna speed five because it's taking too long. As soon as you hit a hundred relations with the Ottomans, uh, flip your um, manual manage attitude to friendly. Even if it's already at friendly, flip it yourself ma manually and it will f usually, once um, you get past a hundred relations with the Ottomans, uh, their opinion of you might switch or it's very likely to switch to friendly themselves. So and this will be an automatic alliance with uh, uh, the Ottomans. So check every couple of months for this thing to, oh, and there you go, it switched. It flipped, sorry. So call back everyone and then you can ally him. Our relations with fence did drop a bit, so we're gonna get them up a bit again. Keep curing favor with uh, Morocco and Tunis. And the surrender of Maine finally happened after so many months late. Usually happened like within 47 or something. So since you have a hundred relations with France, you can enforce peace on England. And obviously they won't accept because you're very small. And if you confirm, there you go, you're on the side of France in their defensive war against the English. Uh, in this war, it's really important for you to get as much uh, things siege down with your armies and as much uh, battles, uh, naval, naval battle with your fleet because you want to get favors. Uh, war participation will get you favor, so uh, you need at least, let's say, 10%, uh, 11% uh, war participation around that to get as much favor as you can once the peace deal happens. Keep your fort maintenance because otherwise England might try to land some troops uh, in your land to siege your mudball fort. Transport all your uh, troops up north to France. Relation have, have been maxed out. And now, as you can see, since we're in the defensive war, getting the alliance is even more likely. It's at minus 14 now, so that's really good. So by sending a gift now, um, and getting, uh, sending a gift, it will give us plus 22 relations, so that will be even more likely for us to get in alliance with them, and we can even, um, and oh, oh as well, sorry I forgot that, we need the English to beat down the naval, uh, the navy of the French so that their navy strength goes down and up goes uh, up in comparison to France so that this number will flip even more. So don't engage in naval battle right at the start, wait a bit. don't have to maintain your troop all the way. Keep curing favor with uh, both Tunis and uh, Morocco. Again, you want to uh, siege down as much land as you can.
getting on those forts uh, will give you more um, participations. And as you can see, it's at minus 11 right now, so I think it's the right time to um, start sending that gift. So we're gonna burn down Granada for one tick. We're gonna send 250 ducats of gift worth of to France. That's good. And well, now we're at minus four, so get some burger loans. Five of them, so that will give you a hundred more ducats. And fire some advisor as long and trying to get this uh, diplomatic reputation advisor. Get on the fort again, all your troops on the forts. We're unlucky with our uh, with our advisor. We're not getting the deplorable reputation advisor, which sucks. But we'll get him eventually. Finally, we get him, and this, as you can see, here's the strat: flips France to a visit positive for offer, uh, for an alliance. So yeah, as a Muslim nation. In the south of Iberia, you can get Calic France, which is a major power in Europe. And that's it for the strat. Um, I don't think I have anything else to explain. Uh, the rest is up to you. Um, so this is just the opening move. So as you can see, by getting a bridge done in Tlemcen, we get a bridge done between Tunis and Morocco. This was the first objective, as well as taking one province to get the two age of objective to get more splendor, to get justified war uh, faster. We also got uh, this thing with the estate bonus I was showing you at the start. Um, this one, grant local residence to scholars, so you can select that uh, for 15 meters. Admi administrative points. So already you have um, minus 10% aggressive expansion, you'll get the age bonus for another additional 10%. You, I also uh, greatly recommend you take espionage ideas to get another 20% aggressive expansion reduction. So this will uh, give you minus 40% aggressive uh, expansion reduction at the start, uh, like within the couple, uh, within uh, the first 10 years. And the last AE reduction you can get as Granada is uh, right here as you can see um, yeah the other easter egg I was talking to you about earlier is uh, in the Granada mission tree is the port of Sibat uh, this is Ceuta basically and as you can see you need to have uh, Ceuta and if you get get it from Portugal you get a uh, trade center level 1 in Ceuta and local trade power plus 25% However, the other easter egg, here it is, it's if you have Morocco instead, owning Ceuta, the mission will flip, mission reward will flip from a trade center and plus 25% trade, local trade power to minus 20% AE reduction for 20 years, and I think it's like plus 25% uh, improved relations with um, neighboring nation and this is why I at the start I told you I was going to not do Iron Man mode just so that I can show you uh, just so that I can show you this little Easter egg so as you can see if uh, Morocco owns it uh, we'll get a different reward for mission so we'll just So we'll just tag uh, Morocco. We 
we will integrate or to go. We'll tag back to uh, Granada. And as you can see, the mission change. Oh, it's minus 50 AE. So yeah, in total you can get like a lot of AE reduction once you declare wars on Castile and Aragon as Granada down the line. Also, once you finish up uh, your war with uh, England on the side of France, you'll get uh, good uh, favors with France depending on your war participation. We're already at 7% and uh, just so you know, uh, fleet, uh, naval battles give you a ridiculous amount of war participation. Even if you lose one or you just decide to flee from one, it will give you a lot. So use that navy, to, uh, use that navy as much as you can. And usually how it goes is you finish the war with England, get favors, uh, get the favors with France, and then uh, you attack Castile or Aragon with. Tunis, Morocco, and France, and uh, it doesn't matter if they have like Portugal and England as ally, you should be able to beat them. Um, another important uh, thing that is noteworthy is you want to prioritize whether you attack Aragon or Castile first. The province on the border between Castile and um, Aragon. Now you may ask, why is that? That's ridiculous border war. That's gonna be ugly. Uh, the reason is because in the uh, codes of the game, uh, the Iberian Union is programmed to fired uh, from the year 1450 and onward. This is one of this is one of the requirements. Another one of the requirements for it to fire is that uh, Castile and Aragon needs to have. Uh, land need to share a land border so in the first war against castile or aragon if you for example against castile take all these province here castile will no longer share a border with aragon and so that means the iberian union will never fire and this will be easier to pick them off one by one uh, rather than them Union, unionized together because Aragon and Castile under the same union and sometimes they can even get Naples is way too much strength for yourself to take on and same thing if you attack Aragon first prioritize getting those four province right here so that you cut off that border between Castile and Aragon so that's about it for this guide, uh, the rest is up to you, once you get France as an ally it's pretty much easy, you get Morocco, Tunis, like 13k stack, 29k stack with their vassal, and obviously France with their vassal swarm. You even have uh, Ottoman as a backup, I usually get Ottoman as a backup because sometime Castile, instead of allying uh, Portugal and uh, England, Sometimes they can get Austria, and if they get Austria, you might be able to call uh, the Ottoman ends. So yeah, that's uh, something to uh, to to know. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, the rest is up to you. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching.